Hello everyone, this is DA from A Academy. Today in this video, we will look at some of the more important theorems related to the interior point of the set synodopological space. So, let's start. The statement of the theorem is if X and tau is a topological space and there are two subsets, let's say A and B of X and the theorem says that if we take the interior of, of that set A, that interior is also written as INTA, but the notation of interior is A dot. So the interior of A and the interior of B, that we take the interior of A and B. If that interior of A and union interior of B is a subset of, of the interior of A union B, this is the core of this of this theorem. If X and Tau is a topological space and there are two subsets of, of X, A and B. So if we take the interior of A and the interior of B, so taking union of the interior of A and interior of B, that is a subset of interior of of A union B, then taking the interior of the set A union B. So let's start proving it. So we will start proof by taking an element of of A interior union B interior, and in the end we will prove that 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 element of this set is also a member of this set. So let's take an element. Let A is an element of A interior union B interior. Because A is a member of A interior union B interior, this implies that A belongs to A interior or A belongs to B interior because of the union here. So there are two cases that A belongs to A interior or that A belongs to B interior. So we will talk about it separately with the very first case when A belongs to A interior. For this, we will use the definition of the interior. If A belongs to A interior, so by using the definition of interior, we know that A is said to be the interior point of A if, if there exists an open neighborhood U such that uh, U is a subset of A and A belongs to U. So same is the case with the second part that is a, if a belongs to the b interior then using the definition of the interior point the a is said to be the interior point of b now if there exists an open neighborhood or the open set away that contains that point and also a subset of b so now we will talk about a union b so let's draw it if x is a topological space and there are two random sets let's say this is an a set and the second is any b set so the union of the both sets is both of the portion a and b if we're talking about this uh, case when a belongs to the interior of a which means that A is a part of the set A and there is an open set U. So if A is in A and there is an open set U that is is in A, that is subset of A. So the second case is, uh, but here the U could be only in, in that part A or also intersect with with the set B so there is uh, not a big difference if we're talking about that U is only in in the A or that intersect with B as well because the union doesn't care about about this issue and if we're talking about this set uh, A belongs to the interior of B so if X and tau is a topological space and there are two random subsets of, of X let's say A and B union contains both of the sets. If A belongs to B, then there is an open set of B contains A. So in this, 
u intersects with b uh, in this the open set of b u doesn't intersect with a and this is not an issue it because union doesn't care about this u as it intersect with b or the other set a here or it is only comprised in the set that we're talking about so so from this we can also say that that u for both of the cases belongs to a union b doesn't care it is in a or doesn't care it is in b we're just interested in the union of a and b so that u that open set is is a part of a union b so regardless of whether that point a belongs to a or or that point a belongs to b that open set u of of that point a will always be an open set of a union b because up, the open set is a part of the whole of this a union b and for this as well so and we also know that here a belongs to u and a belongs to u both of the cases so we will use this information so for two informations right now the very first is u belongs to a union b and the second is a is a member of that open set u so by using both of the information we can get that a belongs to a union b by using both of this information we can say that a is also a member of a union b if a is a member of u and u is a member of a union b then a is also a member of a union b this information implies that a is also a member of a union b interior because we know that interior of any set that is equal to a node is is a subset of that set so by using this if a belongs to the that set which means that a node or the interior is the subset of that set would also be a member of this we can also represent this or we can also understand this by using the venn diagram but this was uh, discussed in the previous video so i will not talk about this anymore so we have proved that a is a part of a union b interior but initially that a is a member of of this type of set and initially a is a part of this set but in the end we have proved that a is also a part of a union b interior which means that we have proved a union a interior union b interior is is a subset of of a union b whole interior so compiling the whole theorem again in the very first uh, we have picked a member of of set a interior union b interior then we have used the definition of the interior and uh, the third process was we have seen the venn diagram and and by using this venn diagram we have uh, figured out that u is also a member of a union b and a is also a member of a union b this is our our assumption or hypothesis that was uh, by using the venn diagram in the fifth uh, by using the property of the interior that interior of of any set is a subset of that set itself so by using the five steps we have proved that a interior union b interior is a subset of a union b interior so this is for now if you are looking for more such videos then you can subscribe this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos so we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye